If you are looking for a new GPU, then this video is going to be perfect for you. I will show you the best GPUs for every resolution and also every budget. So whether you're working with a lot of money or maybe you have a tight budget, I will go over a GPU for you anyway. You will have the links to all of these graphics cards down below in the video description. That being said, let's start. With the first one, we have the cheapest one on this list and this one is a budget 1080p graphics card. I'm talking about the AMD Radeon RX 6600. This one is $210 and it's going to give you amazing performance at 1080p, 60 plus FPS on average in most titles or even more depending on the game and the settings. If you're planning on playing esports titles, this one is going to be enough to run them at above 144 FPS on average depending on the CPU. You can also consider GPUs from Intel like the Intel Arc A750 but the drivers are better on AMD and performance is really similar. It all comes down to the price though, if you see the Intel Arc A750 for much less then it might be a no-brainer. With the next one we have the RX 6700 non-XT. This one is going to be amazing for 1080p gaming and it has 10 gigs of VRAM so you can also use it for 1440p with no issues and it also has a really decent price at 280 bucks. I highly recommend this one if you don't want to spend above $300 on your GPU but you still want a high-end 1080p gaming performance or maybe you want to start playing at 1440p easy to run titles. And with the next one in my opinion the highest end 1080p GPU we have the RX 6750 XT this one has 12 gigs of VRAM it's going to be amazing for 1440p gaming as well you will have no issues if you want to play at a higher resolution and in my opinion this is the limit for 1080p if you want to play at 1080p and you have more to spend I would highly recommend you going for a 1440p monitor or getting this GPU and save up your money because anything more than this I believe is going to be an overkill unless you want to play really high demanding titles but for most people this one is going to be way more than enough for for any title since the 6750 XT on an 11 game average on high to ultra settings at 1080p it was able to average 138 FPS which is a really high number considering all type of games were tested and also on high to ultra settings. First we have in my opinion one of the best price to performance GPUs for 1440p in the RX 6800. This one is going for $400 and it has 16 gigs of VRAM so you can actually use it for 4k resolution depending on the game and the settings and at 1440p it's going to to deliver some serious performance. 90 plus FPS on average on most titles and it has a really good price for a 16 gigs of VRAM graphics card. Now for 100 extra bucks you can get the RX 7800 XT and it has some new features because this one is from the 7000 series from AMD not from the 6000 and you get better features such as AV1 encoding for example, you get a better streaming quality and overall it's just a better GPU so if you can afford it this one in my opinion is the best value GPU. However if you're thinking of buying this GPU you can also consider the RTX 4070 going for $550 so $50 more expensive but you get Nvidia features such as DLSS3, a better ray tracing performance although I wouldn't recommend playing with ray tracing at this price point and also Nvidia usually works better with productivity work applications. So if you want a slightly better rasterized performance for a cheaper price then sure the RX 7800 XT is going to be the best option and you also get more VRAM which is going to be helpful if you upgrade to 4K resolution down the line. But if you want a better ray tracing performance, DLSS3 and all of these Nvidia features then the RTX 4070 might be your best option. And then if you want the best 1440p resolution GPU, I have two options for you. The first one being the RX 7900 XT going for 750 bucks when I'm recording this video. This one has 20 gigs of VRAM and it's going to deliver excellent performance at 1440p. I think anything more than this it's an overkill since this one is also capable of 4k high to ultra settings so you can imagine the performance at 1440p. In most titles on high to ultra settings at 1440p you can average 130 plus FPS which is a lot. And my other option is the RTX 4070 Ti. This one is $770 so $20 more expensive, really similar in terms of price and it has 12 gigs of VRAM which is the only thing I do not like about this GPU and in terms of rasterized performance it is slightly slower than the RX 7900 XT but the 4070 Ti once again has the Nvidia features that you might be interested in. For example I currently have the 4070 Ti on my system because I'm a content creator and for the softwares that I use the 4070 Ti was the better option. On top of that the DLSS just works better than FSR and I'm really happy with the performance level of this 4070 Ti at 1440p resolution. But remember it has 12 gigs of VRAM so if you want to upgrade to 4k down the line so just make sure that your favorite games on ultra settings or whatever setting you want to play at will not go over 12 gigs. 
And then we have the 4K GPUs. My favorite is the RTX 4080 at the moment, going for $1,050. It has 16 gigs of VRAM and it's going to deliver amazing performance at 4K resolution. And I'm talking about 120 plus FPS in most titles, depending on the settings. You can also consider the AMD RX 7900 XTX, but the thing is, in my opinion, the 7900 XTX is not the best option. And let me explain why. The AMD graphics card is $100 cheaper and it has actually slightly better performance. Performance. On top of that, you also get more VRAM. However, at this price point, ray tracing might be interesting for you and the NVIDIA GPU, the RTX 4080, once again has all the NVIDIA features and at this price point, do you really mind spending 100 extra bucks to get all of those features? I think the 4080 is the better option. However, the 7900 XTX is also a really good 4K resolution gaming GPU and if you don't want to turn on ray tracing or DLSS, then it might be the best option for you because it's cheaper and delivers the same or slightly better performance depending on the game. But in my opinion, if I had around a thousand dollars to spend on a 4K GPU, I would go with the RTX 4080. And then if you have a ton of money and you just want the best of the best, then get the RTX 4090. Right now, it's over its MSRP at $1,730, really expensive GPU, but it's the best one in the market in terms of performance. For most people, you will never need the RTX 4090, but once again, some people want the best of the best, or maybe you really want to play the most high demanding titles out there on ultra settings 4K with ray tracing on, then the RTX 4090 might make some sense. But just a quick recommendation for most people, if you're playing at 1080p, I recommend the RX 6700. If you're playing at 1440p, I recommend you the RX 7800 XT or RTX 4070. And if you're playing at 4K, I recommend you the RTX 4080 or the RX 7900 XT. That's my recommendation for most people. And getting any of these GPUs is great. However, you need a CPU that will not bottleneck your gaming performance because if you have the RTX 4090, trust me, you do not want your CPU to be holding your GPU back. The gaming performance can be awful depending on the game if you're bottlenecking your system. For that reason, I highly recommend you watching my video on the best gaming PC builds of the month where I put together the best PC builds with no bottlenecks for gaming and I also explain the estimated performance and you will have that one in the top right of the screen. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.